Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, another example on higher derivatives and now look at an example that invo involves implicit differentiation and that example is this one right here. Basically it states find the second derivative f uh, double prime if x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4 equals 16. Uh, just a, a side note, if you want to see earlier videos on implicit differentiation and higher derivatives, just look at the description below in the related videos as well as, well as other related videos that, that are related to this example. Anyways, uh, basically to solve this one, we don't need to solve for y right away. We could just find a derivative uh, implicitly of by taking derivative on both sides as in my earlier video. So basically derivative of x4, that just equals to y, I mean that just equals to 4, bring the 4 down and then x4 minus 1 is 3. And then plus derivative of y to the 4, that equals to 4y3 using chain rule. This is just going to be the derivative right here. Uh, this is 4y3 then the derivative y prime. And this equals 2, well derivative of z uh, 16 is 0. So we have this one here, and now actually we could just solve for y y prime just because it's in in terms of uh, yeah there's no squared or s power of four so we could solve for this one right away, and we could first divide everything by four just to get the four out, and then so and then shift this to the other side so we'll get y prime is equal to bring this over negative x to the three the fours cancel then divide us out by y3 here. So this is the first derivative, we'll use this in a bit. So now taking the second derivative by double prime, we could just apply the quotient rule. So the quotient rule for derivatives is if you have a function y equals f over g, this is a useful to have, it's, it makes things easier. So then the derivative is gonna be y prime is equal to the derivative of f times g minus f times derivative, yeah, times derivative of g right here, all divided by g squared right here. So in this case, our g is y3 and our f is x to the power of 3. So I'll, I'll bring the negative out of there, so we'll be dealt dealing with now derivative of, of x to the power of 3 is this 3x squared. And then now we times this by y3. And then subtracting by x3, put that in there. Here, I just move this away there. So it's x3, now derivative of y to the power of 3 is just going to be 3y squared, and then y prime right here. All divide this by y to the power of 6. That's just y cubed to the power of 2. So then now we have this part right here. We could take out the like terms. I'll just take out actually uh, this x squared, so I'll, and, and the 3. So I'll just take that out. I'll show you why in a bit. So we're going to get now a 3x squared and now if we uh, write this in the top part in the bracket the bottom is going to be y to the power of 6 we have this negative always there so now it's going to be y to the power of 3 minus this uh, x because we took out x squared and now we have right here 3 is gone we have a y squared and now we have a y prime but we could plug this inside the y prime so we'll have now negative x to the 3 over y to the 3 right here. So this is our uh, function so far. And now what we could do is simplify it further. It's going to be negative 3x squared over y to the power of 6 times this by, this is going to be y to the power of 3 minus, now this, uh, yeah, so actually there's a plus because there's two negatives. Now this x, we could br bring this over to the, make it an x4. So we have an x4, and now this y squared over y cubed, we can subtract the power, so we'll have a y at the bottom right here. And now we could times the top and bottom of this one to have a, a common denominator of y. I'll show you why in a bit. So we'll go y over, uh, just times it by y, so we're not changing anything. So then this would be written as now equals to negative 3x squared. Now this is a y6. But then, uh, but then again, we're having common denominator, so we'll have a times this by a y right here, and this becomes y to the power of four. Y to the power of four, and I'll show you the interesting part, uh, the tricky part, right here. So there's a y part. This is this is the really clever part. So y to the power of four plus x to the power of four. But we already know what that equals to. That e has to equal to sixteen, from what we're given. So, and then this y goes over to this side, so we get now negative three x squared times this by 16 over y to the 7 
And the 16 times 3, that is going to be, what is it? 16 times 2 is 32. Add another 16. Negative 48x squared over y to the 7. And this equals 2f double prime, or uh, y double prime. So anyways, that's the same thing. So we have, this is our second derivative right here. Now just a side note to understand the function we were graphing. This, this uh, function is a two-part function. This is just basically solving. Uh, it's like, it, it's a flat, or it's a fat circle. Basically this is just x4 plus y4 equals 16. And then, so the, the top part is this one right here. And the bottom is the negative of that. Because never it's going to be the same thing as the equation of a circle. You have two semicircles, but now we have two uh, circle-like uh, figures right here. So they're just round like this. And you could tell that it should be like this from the s first derivative we have. y prime is equal to negative x to the 3 over y3. So then basically, initially right here, when you have, let's say, uh, x is something small, so you're going to have a zero slope right here, except you're dividing by y3, which is always going to be 2 to the power of 3 or 8, so it's going to be really, really small until you get to a point where something like over here, where it is 1.5, and now you're cubing it, but it's negative, so you're going to have a, a steep drop right here. So again, this is a, it could serve as a check for your work, and this makes sense, that's why this is called a fat circle. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you'll learn from this uh, example. And uh, remember to watch my related videos for all videos like proof of quotient rule, etc. And remember, you can always download the exact notes in the Dropbox link below. So and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.